Okay. I don't think I want to play Lord Barov. Vol'jin, Sorfang, Keltas. Let's try Keltas. 18 armor, and he got a better hero power than before. Maybe it's okay. 4-4 four, four start is okay. And thank you everybody for watching, I really appreciate it. What if they made a card like Sindorai that would clear death rattles rather than reborns? Sounds maybe too strong. The left graphic on your screen, what Firestone option is it? It's called the session recap. Yes. And it comes uh, for free with Firestone. Raz Grease, thank you for the four months. How's the stream going? Going well. 100 points on the plus. Today was definitely a roller coaster. We climbed, we fell, we climbed, we fell. But one thing was constant. The enjoyment of uh, playing Battleground. But by the way, regarding Fire Sun and Session Recap, uh, you can go Settings, Battleground, and you have Session Widget. That's the one setting that you're looking for. And then similarly to other Firestone uh, things, you can customize it to your liking. I recommend after installing Firestone going for like uh, every single feature to see exactly how you want uh, the app to perform. Hmm. I'll do what I can. Hmm. I really wanted to buy the scout. Maybe I should have hero powered on the demon. So on the demon I could get Peak Eater, Trickster, Mimac, Rewinder. Not bad. On the Murloc it was quite random. On the Naga the high roll was Shell Collector. Hmm. Yeah, maybe Murloc wasn't the right choice for the spell. The more I think about it, the worse it sounds. How come you're live so late? Just felt like doing a longer stream today. Normally I stream 7 or 8 hours, sometimes I want to give you a longer stream. That's it. Nothing special to it, no special occasion. The special occasion is that there's no special occasion. I do so enjoy working alongside you. Hmm. I mean, the way I present my stream to somebody who's asking what's my schedule like, I stream 6 days per week, Saturday is off, and I stream for at least 6-7 hours. That means it could be 6-7, but it could also be 8. It could also be 10-12. And I start at 1 p.m. Romanian time every day. And if sometimes I'm not streaming on a day that isn't Saturday, I will have it in my title and I'll tweet about it and I'll talk on Discord about it. So if you follow me on Twitter or on Twitch or on Discord, you'll be notified on why I'm not streaming. Efficient and effective. So enjoy working alongside you. Hmm. Take a shop. I'll do what I can. Okay. Opponent is Max. So let's open on the scout. One Naga, one Murloc, one Quilbor Pirate, one Demon. We have a little bit of everything and nothing to focus us on one composition. But that can be good. Because maybe we get like a general trinket. I will avenge Ooh, Silver nice that we started on the 1-1. One -one. Ah, he procked me. Hmm. Fair fight. We take the tie. Can't be too picky here. Ooh. We lost a lot playing Goldenizer. Souvenir stand is also a bit greedy. Souvenir makes a bit more sense though.
So winning seems like a better way to go greedy. If you ask me. Chat's not gonna say no one asked. Fight together bravely. Hmm. Yeah, definitely worth waiting for a 6. What do I need to do to get offered Anvil? Double Anvil would be so huge. Dude, imagine. You need two neutrals, right? Ready your spells. I mean, we can check on the Firestone overlay. I'm currently eligible for Anvil and I only have one neutral. Hmm. Do you need two neutrals? Yeah, I sometimes got Anvil offered with only one neutral. What if it's only one neutral? Incredible. Your power outshines all others. A spellbinding enhancement. I fight for the fans. Okay. Next time we open Scout into a 6, but we want to make sure that we have one neutral at least for the anvil. Am I thinking too much of anvil? Maybe I can get some Naga Trinket and go crazy on the two gladiators that I'm sporting. Somebody in chat says this season was my highest rank ever, but it's also the most shitty season in my opinion. What? This season feels great to me. I love Trinkets. Interested to see that you have a very different perspective, even though you're winning. Normally people tie the results to how they feel about a season. That's a very interesting take. I think you should be studied. In a lab. Uh, with your consent, of course. Is it time for mystery and I will avenge Silvermoon. Ardeus mom is going to shut down his computer anytime now. Way past your bedtime. Bro, I'm 27. My mom doesn't tell me what to do for a very long time. Incredible. Your power outshines all others. I wonder if picking Nala can give me the anvil. Let's just go like this. We have Spore. So I think we are eligible for the Trinket. According to Firestone, we are eligible for the Anvil. With only one no tribe. I see you set a quick pace. Double Light Fang. Double Chess Set. Probably Double Light Fang. I'm starting to understand your plan. That one will turn the tide. That's definitely a mech. Engaged. LOL. 
<laughs> Tiny. He's a uh, fun sized. That's definitely a fun sized for Reaper. We are nothing without our allies. Whatever you think is best, guide you. There you have it. Best of the best. So the world harder for the Akari. Base gear is definitely the best Murloc to buff. And having Atrocity double LF is pretty good. So slow. You don't have to describe yourself. Welcome to watch your stream however you are. Yeah, that one was a bit slow. Sorry. This fire is my birthright. Another cleave is good. Fight together, if we can't find Rakari, be sure it might be the best thing we can do. On your side. This is a dead end. Make this one disappear. I can cut Bremen by Belcher. That one will turn the tide. Not bad. Now we have a pretty good setup. I like it. Can't sleep, happy you're here. Happy to help. I'm gonna try not to yell to like help you fall asleep. You're kind of bored luck right now. Yeah, but is the nice type of board locked. Like, I don't mind it. I can uh, module the 4 Reaper. I can module this, module that, module this. I can triple this. And I guess tripling Lightwing is the, be the best way to board, uh, board unlock myself. Should level to 6 as well. Hello, are you sorry that I missed your stream earlier today? You are excused. Thank you for tuning in. Bow before you Bro, I'm streaming every single day. Watch whenever it's convenient. No need to be sorry. Light Fang is underrated in the meta, I feel. After it, they made it an 8-8 that gives 4-4, it's a very good amount of stats. This fire is my birthright. Definitely swings well, some good tempo with it. Now. Yeah, double LF is good. Yes. Especially if they buff each other. I wish I could also play uh, Drakari, but I'm happy to have two cleaves. Light Fang 2 OP. Okay, I wouldn't go that far, but this is probably the perfect Light Fang setup. Two cleaves. Although we don't have Divine Shield on this, still two cleaves. Murloc that summons Venom. Venom can go on the Light Fang. And we also have Atrocity with Reborn at the end of the fight. We still lose to an infinite high roll. If somebody goes ultra crazy on the Murlocs, they're gonna beat me. There you have it. Best of the best. Is it healthy sitting for 11 hours? I mean, I move once in a while. Obviously, it's not the healthiest thing that you can do, but... A lot of people sit down for their jobs. Ancient philosophers back in the Greek times were sitting down all day pondering the mysteries of life. Now we're sitting down just playing a mini game in a children's card game. So pretty much the same thing. This fire is my birthright. I think I'm honoring my ancestors. Are you high? High MMR, yes. By most metrics at least. I like Belcher here because it opens up for me getting Earth Mother on the base guild. Then I can summon both Belchers. I would love to get a uh, module here. Ooh, this is good. I want to take the easy way here, Chad. 
I think it's easier to Saloon Finest next turn and get uh, Earth Mother for the base gill than to manually buy two base gills. What do you think? Create invisible invisibility. Where do you live? I live in Bucharest. So I was born in Bucharest. I still live in Bucharest. And I never lived anywhere else other than in Bucharest. But I got to travel a ton when I was younger to play in Hearthstone tournaments all, all over the world. But never felt like moving my home base. I just like it here. It's a great it's a great city to live if you're working from home and you don't have to deal with the traffic. Oh my god. That's a very bombastic comp. Jesus, Jan, this We might do fine here because of the resets. No, we actually do fine because of the health. What microphone do I use? Sure, this SM7B. My birthright. We found the Earth Mother. That's huge. Let's look for module now. We'll turn the tide. No module, but according to me, it's still gonna be a lot of stats. With the new way the kill task hero power works, it's a lot of stats. Oof. I don't think Drakari is good here. I like my setup as is. Did you visit Vienna before? Yeah, a few times. The name of that microphone sounds like the name of one of Elon Musk's children. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I think it's too simple for that. Yeah, it's a pretty expensive microphone, Gog. I don't recommend it in the beginning. I bought it a few years into streaming. Same for my camera. I'm also using a, an expensive camera. I have a Sony A7 III. The aspects smile. I think those upgrades are worth making when you're streaming as your job. The first big upgrade that I got was actually light. Lights can make a shitty camera look a lot better. You can look on YouTube for tutorials. There's a lot of, uh, I don't know how they're called, light engineers? That can like show you how to make the most of your camera. Even if you use like a USB camera. My first microphone... My first microphone was uh, Samsung... Meteor. And I still use it for the cooking streams. People think lifing is good, it opens board space. Uh, people in the Belcher I don't think is good. You wanna summon two Belchers. Have you ever tried to try hard another kind of video game like CS, LOL, etc? I used to play a lot of League of Legends before uh, Hearthstone. I was pretty good. I was Diamond 1. But I wouldn't have been good enough to be a streamer. Victory seems assured. Never played the uh, CS when I was younger. The first time I played CSGO was during uh, my Sabaton two years ago. It was fun, but I'm really bad at shooters. Like, my first shooter that I played seriously was Warzone. If you can imagine. But yeah, regarding microphone and camera, definitely recommending USB microphone, USB camera in the beginning. Somebody was saying that this microphone is still worth it because it holds its price, but if you sell it secondhand, you're still gonna lose some money. So I don't recommend this microphone if you're uh, uh, not streaming for a living.
or not doing something audio for a living. If you get like a USB microphone like Samsung Meteor or Blue Yeti or whatever, you're gonna you're gonna be fine. What if you buy it secondhand? That can work. Again, this microphone, as the guy said in chat, is virtually indestructible. So I think it could be it could be it's fine to buy it secondhand. Like I literally didn't use my this microphone for like three or four years because I was part of a team that was sponsored by another brand. And then when uh, I was no longer with that team, I went back to the microphone. It literally sat in my, um, how do you call it? Drawer for like four years being unused. Literally worked exactly the same way once I went back to it. 